morning and welcome to Lifestyle Training Centre. This is Jomo and Pijon. How are you guys doing? So we are now in Kerala last week. We moved to uh, Kerala. We are planning to set up training centres here to equip believers. Alright, so let me share two things with you which will help the body of Christ, help you believer who is watching me. Uh, so the first thing is the benefit of dying to yourself. So I had worked with uh, many preachers, uh, men of God, you know, in the past years, many, many of them, you know, in serving, helping. And I'm, I'm very familiar with verbal abuse and all kinds of things, you know, people will call you names. Uh, and, you know, even I was put in one room and people sat around me and abused me verbally. And I never opened my mouth and defended myself because I saw in the scriptures that Jesus, when he was abused, he did not defend himself and he, you know, he trusted God. Uh, so the other day, some one religious person called me a pig. He just got angry. I did not sin against him. He just got angry and called me a pig. And I, I know I, I did not say anything. I just continued loving him and walking in love. And eventually he started speaking to me, everything got normal. And I was amazed, you know. Uh, and another thing, you know, sometimes people encourage me, saying, oh, you're great, you're doing all these things great. You know, every time how you, you know, respond, uh, the thing I saw is that, you know, it is no longer I who live, but Christ, right? I am dead. The old man is dead. It is Christ who lives in me. So if you abuse me, you are abusing the Christ in me. If you say good things about me, you are saying good things about the Christ in me. So whether you say good, whether you say bad, uh, it is no longer I who lives. It's Christ who liveth in me. So this helps my walk uh, with the Lord. I don't get offended. I don't get upset. I'm so amazed the life you know that I'm living and it is possible this is the life Christian life Christ called us so this is uh, the beginning of Christianity <clears throat> excuse me if anybody wants to follow me let him deny himself so die to yourself that's where Christian life begins right so you don't no longer have problems you know people saying good things bad things about it is no longer you you are you are no longer alive. You are you know Christ is alive. He gets the glory. He gets the beatings, uh, and it's a free life. And one more thing, my mom just now you know half an hour back she fell down uh, by accident, and you know I just rushed there and laid my hand and spoke the word, and she's fine. So a, a, a lifestyle of you know laying hands on the sick that will help a believer so when you are ready in season out season to lay hands on the sick your life will totally change every day you will wake up you know waiting for a chance to bless others you will not have time to sin because anytime anytime you know you have to lay hands on the sick you have to pray for the sick people will call you you know once they know that you pray and help people so so you don't have time to sin and live in depression. If if I am depressed and if somebody calls me and, you know, ask me counsel, what am I going to give? So that's what it helps me. Guys, so start laying hands on the sick. Your Christian life, your spiritual life, you know, it will just go up. As long as you just live for yourself, you know, it is a dried up and deserted place. So one first thing is deny yourself you know don't take uh, things what people say good or bad you know you give it to the lord because it is no longer okay when that person called me a pig i did not feel bad oh he's calling the christ in me so next time if you're calling me pig send me pork instead i, I love eating pork okay so i hope that helps you right uh, and secondly, lay hands on the sick, pray for the sick people. Your life will, you know, change, you know, amazingly. And may the Lord help you with these thoughts. Uh, you know, I, I live a life free from myself, free from others. I don't have anything against anybody. That's such a beautiful life to live. 
you know, I love everybody so that I can pray for everybody. You know, I don't speak ill about anybody. When I hear, you know, somebody speaking ill against another person, I stop that. Hey, stop, stop talking. If I speak ill against another person, I cannot minister to them. All right. So uh, this is the thoughts. I, these are the thoughts I wanted to share with you. So we are uh, waiting and planning to uh, set up training centers here. So contact me. I'm here in Kony, Kerala, Patanandita, Kony. Uh, so we all are supposed to do the, these things. Okay. I'm just a regular guy, just like you, who decided to die to himself and live for Christ. You know, and lay hands on the sick, and you know, and live the life Christ commanded us. And every one of us are supposed to live live this life. And God bless you abundantly. Uh, take care. Start laying hands on the sick. Bye bye.